Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Anyway, this silent treatment. <laughs> Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said... <laughs> okay. What's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> Just got some stuff on my mind. You let me know if you want to talk about it. Okay. Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. You want to give it a whirl? Are you sure? Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> See that sign there? Red one? Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever they're <laughs> Got to aim higher. Leave the bullet room to drop. I see. There you go. Sounds attracting them. Well, we are on patrol. Let's clear them. Make sure to compensate for that bullet drop. That's all of them. Usually more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. Where are they coming from? Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain Temperatures, shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Check out the shed. It looks like they're moving down the hill. Why? Hmm. Ah, dead animal. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. I'm impressed. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. Something by the ski lifts? Look way out there. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see it? Got it. I like this thing. A handful more. Three left. You're a natural. A couple more out there. Take your time. What you think? Beautiful. You're really getting it. Yes. Well, I'm not seeing any more. Yeah, me neither. All right. Let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. And her over. Hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. I'm not supposed to say anything, but Joel's worried about you. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I talked to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <sighs> okay, I will try. That was y'all shooting up there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. 
Ella got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... You haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you'll, uh... We'll get you some new ones. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. I can keep watch. What do you say, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come? Get on now. He's waiting. Okay. Let's go. All right. On me, kiddo. <gasps> so, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrols. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Though I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've... Look, you think you're ready. I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, well, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match... Woo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. Store. Yeah, I see it. <sighs> Damn it. Go this way. What? Well, damn. Used to be able to swim across there. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. Be something. You think you can fit in there? Well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Careful out. Yep. I'm through. Hold on. All right.
See anything? Uh, looking. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? Nope. You're just too skinny. Need to eat more. <laughs> You're welcome. see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. <laughs> you gotta be smart about this. You start wearing that mask, kiddo, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody new, have you? Not Jesse or Dina or... Of course not. Okay, good. <laughs> you ever been in here before? Just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. And this one's too old. Now it just roamed in. This way. Oh, 
ready! give up on those strings for today. Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Looks like it might be something. Following you.
we fucking did it. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. You good? Uh, you know, than being really old, ain't nothing solid, not a sleep on shake off. I want to get out of here. There's like two bloaters back there. It'll be fine. Spores are clear. Oh. Quite the fight back there, huh? Not often you get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Jesse and Dina are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's deal with them two anyway. They're dating, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> Not so keen with this one. We'll see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Squeeze through there. <clears throat> See what it is? Yeah. Okay. I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life, I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's... let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital, you said there were dozens of people like me. Yeah. yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that?
Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured something uh, out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? It wasn't the right time. about this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Helly. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Right. If I follow Route 5, that should take me to the hospital. <laughs> 